Whoops, there we go. Hey there, it's Teresa here with today's two minute mystery message. And this one's pretty simple, and yet it is so powerful and so difficult at the same time. I don't know about you, but I go through life a lot with a bunch of shoulds screaming in my ears. I should do this. And then, of course, the opposite. I shouldn't do this. I should do this. I shouldn't do this. You know, with as many shoulds as are always playing in my head, I'm never going to get to what I want to do. So I've been playing with a little experiment lately. Um, it's one that my coach, Pat Honeyotis, kind of prompted me on as well. Instead of doing what I think I should do next, I'm stopping and checking in and, and seeing what I want to do next. Want as in there's energy for that. There's some desire. There's, it's not this like, oh, I should do this. Make myself push. Now, if you grew up with, well, you can't go out and play until all your work is done. This is going to feel like a foreign language to you. And it's just going to bring up more shoulds. Like, I shouldn't do that. And I invite you to do it anyway. Now, I'm not saying take the rest of the day off. And maybe I am. But I'm saying honor that desire. Honor it. If it's for five minutes or 10 minutes, honor that desire. Because if you don't honor your desires, no one else is going to, including the universe. And here's the other thing. All of those shoulds and shouldn'ts, they're all rooted in fear. And fear is the primary emotion of scarcity. And guess what? That doesn't support abundance. So right now, even if you've got a bunch of shoulds screaming in your head or shouldn'ts, what do you want to do? What do you have some energy, some desire to do? What well, might actually be fun for you to do? Go do that, even if it's only for five or 10 minutes. And let me know what happens. Have a great weekend. I'll be back on Monday with another two-minute mystery message. Thanks for being here, Barb.